Back now with the uh, top Democrat on the Intelligence Committee, of course, a longtime chairman when the uh, Democrats were in the majority. Well, Senator, you heard Senator McCain, you heard Dennis McDonough. Where do you come down on all this? Oh, wow. Uh, you, you know, I agree with some of the things that Senator McCain said and uh, uh, Mr. McDonough as well. Uh, let, me, let me tell you where I come down on it. I think our intelligence with respect to what's going to happen in many of these countries is weak. Whether it's because we do not have adequate human intelligence or not, I don't know. But um, we've seen, McCain is right, we've seen this happen a number of times. We certainly saw it with the Ukraine and the taking of the Crimea and uh, now what happened with the Houthis and... Uh, in Yemen. In, in Yemen, right. And with respect there, no one knows what's going to happen. Uh, the future is unknown, which really should not be the case. We know that um, uh, the Houthis have said they would leave us alone, and yet their slogan is death to America, death to Israel. They have deposed the president. Uh, the military has separated off. Uh, we have uh, less than 300 uh, Yemeni military guarding our embassy. So I think there are a number of priorities there. One is to see that our people are safe. Uh, the second is to take a good look at our policy with respect to Yemen. And it, it's largely counterterrorism. It's largely developed against Al Qaeda because Al Qaeda is coming after us. They've tried to get four of these uh, bombs that go through uh, magnetometers into our country. So it's targeting the leadership and trying to take that leadership out. Now that's what comes through to people. Um, my concern is where is Iran going? Iran has been supporting the Houthis. Uh, is Iran trying to begin the development of an Iranian crescent? Uh, I don't know, but I think we have to think long term and I think we have to become much more it develop the human side of intelligence rather than the technical side Do of intelligence. Do you think the uh, president is too cautious on foreign policy? I think this is very difficult because the president, to an extent, is in a difficult position. The American people don't want another war. Uh, there's been two Iraq wars, there's been one Afghan war. Um, they don't see it. It's in a foreign land, it's far and apart from them. So this is very difficult. I do think that we need to look more deeply and broadly into what we're doing and how we're doing it. I think the deteriorate and destroy of ISIL has had some victory. I don't know whether 6,000 ISIL people have been killed or not, but that's the figure that's floating around. But that's not going to do it. And so where McCain is right, I do think we need some special operations in these countries, um, on the ground, uh, more than just advisors. And I, I, I think we need to protect our allies, that's Israel, that's Jordan, that's Saudi Arabia, and be more pronounced about it. We've been focused on the Middle East because of these latest uh, incidents, but uh, hadn't heard much about Afghanistan lately. Uh, how are things going there? Well, I, I happen to know the new president somewhat, and uh, he is called, and I, I know Dr. Abdullah, um, and I think he's made a good start. However, I think the Taliban's going to try to come back, and it looks like al-Qaeda in Pakistan is now trying to come back uh, into Afghanistan. So I'm not, I'll be very candid, I'm one of those Democrats that doesn't see a rapid pullout of American troops as being beneficial. Um, now, the president has added some troops to the 9,000. I guess it's up to around 10,800 remaining. I think that's good, but I think they have to be very cognizant, A, of the Taliban, and B, of al-Qaeda coming back. And then to go back to the Middle East just quickly, do you envision we might have to put more ground or have to put ground troops back into the Middle East? In well, this places. is one thing that I've tried to follow carefully, um, particularly with respect to Syria. And I don't see what we're doing making a difference. So I think we need to relook at this. Um, and if we are going to tolerate Assad, 
uh, as, as McCain said, and I tend to agree, looks like is the case, that's a problem. Um, uh, initially, uh, the point was to do this to the extent that you got both uh, Iran and Russia to help us bring the Syrians to the table and have a political solution. I think most people still believe a political solution is necessary, but nobody's trying to affect it. All right, we have to end it there. Thank you. Senator, thank you so thank much. You, and I'll be back with some personal thoughts in just a second.